Joseph Rothschild here, aka NBT, back with another episode of One Take Testing, the show in which I show off a deck, give you a sense of how it plays, and let you know my thoughts all in one singular take. Today we are looking forward to a product that we'll be releasing in the next two weeks, the Crystal Beast Structure Deck. I don't think anyone asked for this. With the exception of Neshi, if you're unfamiliar with Neshi, he is the go-to individual for Crystal Beast content on YouTube, and he handed me this. Conclave Control. This deck is a lot cooler than it looks. If you haven't already, I would advise checking out his video on the topic. I don't feel comfortable making a 10 minute testing on this deck because, well, he kind of already made a 10 minute testing on this deck, but the gist of it is that you are using this card, Crystal Conclave, to keep your opponent off of monsters while using the honestly staggering advantage engine that is Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, and a singleton of Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. The new cards released in the structure deck are shocking. Three copies of Awakening the Crystal Lord, three copies of Bridge of the Heart, Rainbow Bridge is not a once per turn, and Crystal Protection is not bad either. Pair that with a really powerful Omni and the heart and soul of the deck in Crystal Conclave. Clave. On a good day, this is going to end on some number of things like Necro Valley, Baguska, but also follow up in the form of really powerful Crystal Beast monsters and the ability to special summon a ton of them using Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. I am so excited to see if this is the first time this fan favorite archetype will ever be playable. I'm going to jump in and we'll take a look. Okay, this looks pretty good. We're going to begin with a Pot of Prosperity. We've learned so much here today. Wrong. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the Underworld Goddess, the Nightmare Phoenix, the Nightmare Cerberus, the Lila, and apparently the Dingirsu and Kidori are the only things we are able to do it. Oh, these are great. Um, I actually think I am just going to go ahead and take another Sapphire Pegasus because we have the ability to do it twice. We're going to go ahead and tuck all of these. Let's activate Bridge of the Heart here. So Rainbow Bridge of the Heart permits us to do an additional normal summon. So we're going to extra normal our way to a Sapphire Pegasus and we'll activate the effect. That's going to put a Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon in our back row, which we can then activate in order to add from deck to hand um, a bunch of really powerful cards. Uh, we'll go for the Sapphire Pegasus here. I just want fours on field to end on Baguska. And we'll grab the Rainbow Dragon to hand as well. Uh, we are going to use our normal normal on Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Then we will activate the effect in order to set a Ruby Carbuncle to back row. Uh, from here, we can activate Bridge of the Heart uh, to destroy a Crystal Beast card we control or one in the hand. And then get a Crystal Spell Trap from our deck to our hand. Uh, so we have Conclave already. So we probably want to grab Awakening of the Crystal Lord. Uh, afterwards, we're going to activate Awakening of the Crystal Lord. This is going to reveal the Rainbow Dragon. Now we can add a Rainbow Bridge or Rainbow Refraction card. And we can take it and put it in the graveyard. Uh, so we can either just get Rainbow Bridge to take, or we can send Bridge of Salvation to the grave, which we will do. Then at Resolution, we can activate the Graveyard Effect of Bridge of Salvation in order to add from deck to hand Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon and either Necro Valley or Mystic Mine. Um, so you can Crystal Conclave to bounce your own card and put your opponent under Mystic Mine, uh, but we are going to get Necro Valley here because that is cringe. Uh, let's set the uh, Crystal Conclave, set the Forbidden Droplet, activate the Necro Valley, and then make Baguskur. I will put him in the EMZ because I'm terrible. All right, looking good to me. Let's go to end phase. So we'll pass it back to our opponent. In draw, we're going to activate Conclave uh, because <laughs> this card has to be on the field to have its effect. It's got this weird same chain restriction. They're thinking here. Okay, uh, it is Fur Hire. Recon Scout for Hire is normal summoned and cannot activate its effect because it's been put to defense position by our stinking alcoholic drunk. Jester Confi. Oh, we're going to make our way to a uh, Link monster. This is why you summon Baguska into the EMZ so you don't get served out of the game. 
Surprise, surprise, player for hire could have been anything, truly. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix is a good card, to be sure. What are they targeting? The Necro Valley. Hmm. We could droplet this. How do you feel about that? I will droplet this. I'm, I'm very stupid. Uh, we'll send the Rainbow Dragon here. Oh, they've got something they can respond to it with. All right, nothing. Oh, they're thinking from this position. Uh, if they have any other free special, they can make like a Nightmare Unicorn to out Baguska. Droplets and Necro Valley, totally. Yeah, okay, here's the extender in Mayhem Fur Hire. Uh, this allows them to special summon back Bito. <laughs> if there wasn't a Necro Valley on field. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, if that's a pass, great news. Uh, we can use Conclave here. Uh, we are going to return the Pegasus to hand and bounce the uh, Nightmare Phoenix. Should be a hop, skip, and a jump to lethal here. We'll draw for turn. Oh my god, Crystal Bond. Uh, we'll detach one of the Pegasuses. Switch this to attack. Gonna normal summon this Crystal Beast uh, Sapphire Pegasus. Then we'll activate the effect. That's going to allow us to equip our last remaining one from deck, the Rainbow Dragon. Doesn't actually do anything here. Uh, we're gonna activate Bridge of the Heart, popping that Rainbow Dragon, so that we can get from our deck to hand... Oh, I don't know. There's not really anything left that I want. Uh, I guess that, like, Crystal Miracle is a good card. Um... Uh, does crystal protection combo with itself? Does anyone know? No. Damn, that's unfortunate. Possibly. Okay, so that's not helpful. No. All right. Well, we'll just get a conclave again. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, we can normal summon the Rainbow Dragon. Uh, let's go to combat. Wah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Get our guy out. It's 18, 21, 3. I think we're a little off. Yeah, 11 off. But this is a position I am pretty confident they can't recover from. We'll set one and pass turn. And our monster can't be destroyed by card effects. How good. We're going to hold A here because we've been git git gotted before. Oh, they're thinking. It's going to have to be something pretty crazy. Okay, that is Philo Messenger for Hire. Uh, after Summon, we'll go for Conclave. And then after Resolution of Conclave, we will just activate it. We'll put the uh, Sapphire Pegasus back in hand, and we'll bounce the Philo. Oh, but they'll chain Rookie for Hire. Okay. All right. We're actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh! here today. Uh, Dompa destroys face-up cards on the field, so they can special their last card, which is... Helmer. Okay. They have outed the Necro Valley. And we are going directly for a Donna Dagger for hire. This does not do anything. Okay. Uh, actually, it does everything. Uh, we get Philo, and we are able to get Beat, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, Philo triggers here. Specials a monster in defense position. And then Beat triggers here in order to add from deck to hand. Oh my goodness, I think we are about to lose the game. 
Uh, so Beat hasn't activated the effect to special yet, so they're able to summon the new fur hire, uh, Rex Cargo. They'll activate Rex. That's going to add a spell trap to hand, including Rookie. Now, that's a hard once per turn, but that's fine. Uh, where are we going from this position? Down comes Folgo. The daddy has arrived. Uh, we get to special a monster in defense position. And if he destroys one of my cards, they get to draw three. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, oh, golly gosh. This is not good. All right. Down comes Seal. I'll just hope that they don't draw any fur hires in the three cards that they draw. All right, we're going to take 300 here. And they're going to get to draw a quadrillion cards. They still have to find an out to the attack position Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. But something tells me that's not going to be particularly difficult. Seal is going to summon a monster. Down comes Rafal. They're going to get to look at the top 12 cards of their deck. You're kidding me. All right, what do we got on Rafal? One, two, three, four, four, four of them, four cards. They're going to grab Parallel Exceed. Uh, set one, activate Reinforcement of the Army. They'll grab Arborea. Where are we going with this? Oh, this is disastrous. It's really not good. Uh, you know what? Um, uh, oh, oh no, the, oh no, the internet disconnected. We'll never know who would have won. So this deck's cool. I was just unwilling to do what it would have taken to win. Keep in mind that you can normal summon a Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus to put up a Conclave, then activate Conclave on your opponent's first summon to lock them under Mystic Mine while you have no monsters on the field. From that position... Pretty much any deck can manage a win condition. This just happens to be one of the most efficient ways to do it. That said, I think there is a lot of promise in this deck. I was not sold on the new uh, Crystal Beast cards when I first read them, but I actually think there's a lot of power contained within them. Awakening of the Crystal Lord, Bridge of the Heart, Crystal Protection, Crystal Mar Miracle, Crystal Conclave, and of course, Bridge of Salvation are impressively strong and probably are able to form the backbone of a really powerful uh, control deck. Uh, Baguska plus Necro Valley is something that pretty much every deck right now would have a really difficult time outing. Uh, it just so happens that we ran into one of the archetypes that didn't necessarily. Who's playing League Monsters these days anyway? I really am excited to see how this evolves uh, after the release of the Crystal Beast Structure deck when there's a whole new set of eyes on it. But for now, Neshi's build looks pretty solid. It would take a more skilled pilot to take down a deck as tier zero as Fur Hire, but I'm sure one of you can manage. Thank you.